Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another tutorial Melinda's Rubber Room. I'm Melinda Pierce and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you how to make this card. It's uh, I'm going to call it a step card just because it reminds me of some stairs and it kind of interlocks together like so. It looks really complicated and it's kind of fun to receive because it's a little bit different. Um, but it's actually not that difficult to make. So I'm going to put you down to my work surface and show you how to do that. So this is a card that I did uh, during one of my Wednesday Zoom sessions a couple weeks ago. Um, and I do those on, I do my Zoom sessions on Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to noon Pacific time. And you're welcome to join me. Uh, I do provide all of the measurements beforehand. I also provide a card kit if you would like everything cut um, before beforehand for you. Um, a lot of times you'll get it after the fact, but then you can watch these videos on how to put them together. So I do have the measurements here, so you can check those out. Um, these are the measurements that are provided online as well. So you're going to start with, so this card, I used the polished pink uh, cardstock, and I used um, a weigh and wash designer series paper. And then these were die uh, die cuts or um, I think they were a fussy cut no these were die cut from that same paper okay um, for this one here I'm going to use the starry night uh, cardstock this is a new color cardstock uh, for this year from Stampin Up and I'm using some designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration so right now Stampin Up is offering celebration with every $50 purchase, you can get free product. And this paper here, let me get it out for you. This one here is the one that I'm using. So this is the paper that I'm using. And then you also have this, these really cute houses, um, the little birds right here. Um, has this beautiful background wash color on the back side of the birds. So this is just a really lovely little set of designer series paper that you can use for all different occasions. This uh, house designer series paper has these beautiful um, medallions that you can cut out or just use as designer series paper and just kind of neutral stripes or uh, gingham. Something for fall. And these little guys, I actually use this paper as um, this one here. I fussy cut some of the images that I hope to use on the card as well. Okay, so again, you can get that designer series paper free with $50 purchase. Um, and it's only while supplies last. And I know some of the celebration items are starting to sell out. So you might wanna pick that up um, sooner than later. Okay, so what I have here, again, is the Starry Night um, cardstock. And you need two pieces that measure five and a half by five and three quarters. And you want to score one side of each of those pieces at um, three, three quarter inch and one and a half. That's along the long side of the cardstock. So this measures five and a half by seven and a half. And you score at three quarters of an inch and one and a half. And you do that on both pieces. And then they are going to start with a valley fold and then a mountain fold. So it goes like that on both pieces. Okay, then those are going to be glued together just like that. So let me bring my glue in and do that. So I actually saw this, um, this card was shown on Pinterest, I believe by a UK demonstrator. Um, I did a shout out to her on my Facebook page. I don't recall her name just at this time. Um, but her measurements for, were for larger cards, so I kind of scaled things down. Um, so that's why you see some of the 1 16th measurements here, and I know we don't like to measure that small, um, but that was the best I could do to get to it, for it to be a standard size card. Okay, so now that we have our base, um, we are going to bring in a piece of white cardstock that's just going to go down the center here. And that's just a standard um, mat for 
for your card. So that would be four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I find it's easier to add the top pieces or the steer pieces of the card if you have the white underneath. And I'm going to put that a little bit high on the card because you'll see at the end that we need to trim off just a little bit. Um, so you can see my uh, top margin is a little bit smaller than my bottom margin. Okay, so now I've already cut all my pieces and glued them together because I didn't think you would need to watch me glue pieces together. Um, but what I would suggest is cutting strips of one inch uh, designer series paper. I'm sorry, it's one and one sixteenth inch. Um, so that's one and one sixteenth inch wide by uh, three and three quarters inch. And and then cutting your strips down from there. So this first one here is one and one sixteenth by three and a half. And then the matching piece is the smallest piece that I call out here. So that is one and one sixteenth by one and a half. So those two pieces will coordinate with each other. And then the next one down, the one and one sixteenth by three quarters of an inch corresponds with the one and one sixteenth by two and three quarters inch. So that would be these two pieces. And then this middle piece is a little bit wider. That is the one and one eighteenth by two and one quarter and one and one to eighteenth by two inches. And that's this piece here. So if you're cutting them into strips in one inch strips, um, I'm sorry, into one sixteenth, one and one sixteenth inch strips, then you can have them so that they, the designer series paper all matches up together if you cut them um, to the sizes that coordinate with each of each other. So I hope that makes sense. It'll probably make more sense once you start cutting your designer series paper. Okay, so I'm going to take these off now. I wanted to make sure that I kept them in the same um, same format as when I was cutting them, just so that I would maintain the pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and put glue just on these side panels. Um, you want to do that instead of putting glue on these pieces because um, you don't want the glue to overhang. So this is just going to get married up to the very top of the card. So it's even on the top and even on the side. And I'm going to next take the next panel Just go right on down with this side getting smaller. Okay, so you can see I have a little bit of extra down here. And I'm just going to shave that off with my paper cutter. And then I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this side. If you have any question with um, matching up your designer series paper, um, I kind of went through that um, quickly and it's a little confusing. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'll clarify any questions you might have. Okay, so this side doing the same thing, except I'm going from smallest to largest. With the rectangles. This card does get a little bit of bulky, gets gets a little bit of bulk in there, so you want to make sure that your uh, score lines are reinforced with your bone folder just to make sure everything is nice and tidy and folds down flat. Okay, so you can see how that all goes together. Looks like I need to move these out just a little bit. I don't want any of the white showing. So this is one of the reasons why I like to use the blue. So you have a little bit of wiggle room there. And that'll just depend on how closely you did your measurements when you were cutting your cardstock. 
looks like I wasn't very accurate with one of the pieces and that's why there's white showing underneath. But because we have our mats are the same as our designer series paper, or our mats are the same as our the base of our card, you don't really see that too much. So we're going to need to add a little bit of glue here. Reinforce this top one too. Okay, so like I was saying, you don't want any of this white, the white showing underneath when it's closed. It just um, gives you a better effect if you don't see any of that. And then when you open it up, it's nice and bright. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and just cut off this bottom part that's a little bit longer than I want it to be. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out these measurements and they just weren't quite perfect, but you can just trim off the excess and it's fine. Okay, there we go. Nice and neat. Okay, so like I said, I fussy cut a bunch of images out. I'm going to bring those in. I haven't quite decided how that's going to fit in, but the colors all kind of coordinate. So I think I'm going to put the little mushrooms down here on the bottom. Like that. It's already kind of a busy print, so I don't want to add too, too much, but I do want to add a little bit of interest on there. I think that'll do. So I could raise these up, but I don't want to add too much more bulk. So I think I'm just going to glue them on. So if you see any products that you're you're enjoying um, and you'd like to get in on Celebration, make sure you check out my online store at melindapierce.stampinup.net. You can find all the products there as well as the Celebration items. If you have any problems placing your order and redeeming your Celebration items, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with that. I know sometimes the online store gets a little a little tricky. So just message me and I can help you out there and uh, place your order for you. And if you'd like to join me for my um, Zoom sessions on Wednesdays, uh, hop over to my Facebook page. I'll have all the information there. And my Facebook page is Melinda is uh, Melinda's Rubber Room on Facebook. Let's see, I think I'll stick a little butterfly right there in the corner. And I'm actually going to keep this card blank so that I can use it for any purpose that I want um, when the need arises. So that is the completed card. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you have any questions on the, the designer series paper and the mats, feel free to reach out to me. Basically, all of these designer series paper matches up with the mats. You just layer them on top of each other and then assemble the card as I showed you. So um, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Learn something new. That is my goal on my videos um, and on my um, Zoom sessions. 
So feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, and if you would like to join us on a Zoom session, feel free to do so. All right. Hope you have a great time, um, a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.